Back here in college football pregame on CBS Sports HQ, taking a look at the late game injuries we're monitoring in this one out west between Miami and Cal. Set to kick off at 10.30 tonight. Might need a late night espresso, you guys. Darius, Miami <laughs> edge rusher Ruben Bain is expected to return after missing the past four games with a soft tissue injury. That's huge for the Hurricanes. Hey, as a DB, I love when edge rushers get healthy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the Golden Bears transfer receivers, Merriweather and Grays remain questionable as you see there. They have yet to play this season. All right, let's go through some of these notable late games and make some game picks. And we begin with number eight, Miami. Miami on the road to take on Cal Hurricanes looking to stay and be in McKenzie. What is the model saying? What's the best play here? It's not always that we take into consideration travel for teams, but when you're going from South Florida to California, it ends up being something you take into consideration. I do think Miami pulls this game out. I just don't think it will be an 11 point victory. So I feel confident in Cal covering this number week after week, even though Miami is winning, they're getting more and more vulnerable to the run. You saw what Virginia Tech was doing against them as well. Cal has the right weapon for that in Jaden Ott. He will stay on the ground. He will try to keep this Miami offense off the field as much as he can. So I just think it becomes really hard to cover a double digit spread here. Well, Kinsey stole all of my thunder with all of the, <laughs> all of my info I was going to present, but contrary to what she said, I'm going to go with Cal in this matchup. I think the travel, I think the late start for Miami, and again, Jaden Ott, like McKenzie hit on, he hasn't been quite as productive as what we would have expected coming into this year, but he still has the ability to kind of put the game on his back, chew up some clock, keep the ball out of Cam Ward's hands. I think all of those factors combined, I'm going to go with Cal today. Woo! Calling the upset. Going with Cal. That, I love that. How yeah. tough is that, that West Coast? Like, how tough is that travel, actually? Oh, my gosh. It's, like, it's a nightmare. Really? It's a nightmare. Because a lot of those times when you're traveling East Coast to West Coast, you got to leave, like, two days in advance, and then that throws off your rhythm, your routine of practicing at home before you go on the road, kind of getting your feel for the game. It just it, it provides an extra roadblock, if you will. So it's definitely tough. It's definitely challenging, and it's something that Miami cannot ignore. Now, what I will say is if Miami comes out and they just look like the same Miami team that we've seen all year, then I expect Miami to run away with it. But I don't think that that's going to be the case tonight. I think it's going to be a physical game, which Miami struggled with Virginia Tech's physicality in their run game. So I'm with you guys. I think they're, they're, a Cal's going to try to run the football. Mm -hmm. There's a great story of Fernando Mendoza, who grew up in Miami. Now he's playing across the country at Cal. Grew up in the like, right in the shadow of Coral Gables where Miami's located ultimately in I do think Miami pulls it out I think Cam Ward's got enough playmaking ability against a Justin Wilcox led uh, team who's the head coach who played him twice when he was at Washington State so he's familiar with what Cam Ward can do I think they have a plan to contain him I don't think they stop him though so I like Cal with the points but I like Miami to win yeah I'm you said Washington State right so Cam is used to playing yeah exactly. okay yeah I'm not worried about Cam Ward I think you know, 10 30 that's what dinner time out here in Miami for this <laughs> They'll be ready. They'll be rolling. I'm going with the Hurricanes in this one. And, uh, I'm going with them big. I think, you know, Cam Ward, he knows what type of spotlights on him. He knows how he has to win these games. If he wants to win a Heisman winning national championship, college game days out there, it'll be a late yeah. night kickoff. The energy's there. I like big time Cam Ward to show up.